Hey guys. Um, I'm on my way to work this morning and I thought that I would vlog a little bit and tell you guys a little, show you a little bit of my way to work and kind of um, share my town with you. I live in a relatively small town. It's not huge, but it, I mean, it's not a metropolitan. A, a, metro, a metropolis, but it's not a little bitty village either. It's a pretty good sized town, but it's not it's big. So, this is Danville, Kentucky. And this is where Center College is located, if any of y'all have ever heard of that. Um, but, here we go. I'll show you my town. So, I have to stand here at the light. And so, right across the street there, that it says the Spine Center of Central Kentucky, but that is upstairs. Um, but down there on the lower level is the Hub Coffee House and Cafe. Um, a lot of the college students go there, but uh, it opens early in the morning, I guess, and stays open pretty late. And they serve coffee and pastries and hot teas and hot cocos and all that kind of thing. And then they also have a small menu like soups and sandwiches and salads. Um, but uh, anyway, that's a look down Main Street, one way down Main Street. And that's a look down the other way. So, they also have smoothies there and it's a coffee house and they're open for breakfast. Um, but anyway, so, and then right here is the center bookstore. This is the college's bookstore. They're having a big sale, I guess, because the school year's ending, or, you know, not ending, but they're getting ready to go back, I guess I would say. And so they're having a sale. Um, now, this is the spine center right here. Bluegrass Brace Shop. They do spine surgery. That's the doctor's offices there. That's, far, that's the side entrance to Farmers National Bank. That's my bank. This is um, Edward Jones Investments. And this here is just a big parking structure for our hospital. Um, this over in, across the street is one of the most beautiful churches I believe I've ever laid my eyes on. <coughs> that is the church. I'm not sure how old the church is or even what the name is. I think it's a Methodist church, but I'm not quite sure. But I don't even know how old it is, but it is beautiful, beautiful church. And this uh, tan colored building up here that you see right now, that is our hospital. That is Ephraim McDowell Regional Medical Center. That's where all, well, one of my children was born at a different hospital, but they moved her to this one after she was born. And my two boys were born here, too. This is MedSource. This is where a lot of the nurses and doctors come to buy their scrubs and their shoes and their lab coats. And they also sell medical equipment like walkers and wheelchairs and that type of thing. Let's go ahead and push the button to cross. We are almost, I'm almost at work, so we're just going to wait for the crosswalk sign to say I can go. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm getting ready to cross what is, it's Walnut Street, and that's one way down Walnut Street, and that's the other way down Walnut Street, and I can go. I'm going to just walk across the street. And now I'm on Walnut Street. I'm going to walk down this way. Now, in the bottom of this, also in the bottom of the parking structure I showed you, that right there 
that doors are riding on it right there. That is a bluegrass community action. And the Bluegrass Ultra Transit Service and the Community Development Offices. Bluegrass Community Action is a is an organization that helps people if, you know, if they have trouble paying their electric bill and whatnot, they give people assistance. Um, then the Bluegrass Ultra Transit System is our city bus. Um, I choose not to ride it because it's two dollars every time you get on the bus. So it's two dollars if you when you get on at your at the bus stop, and then you get off at whatever destination you are going to, then you get back on. It's two dollars. So four dollars round trip is not too bad still, but you have to pay in cash. They don't have the ability to pay with a debit card. And you can't buy, like, a pass or, you know, so many rides at a time. You can't pay in advance. So I never have cash on me. <laughs> I always just have my debit card or my checkbook. I never have actual physical cash, hardly ever. So I just don't choose to utilize that transportation. So I just pretty much walk wherever I go because we don't have a car. <clears throat> Sometimes that's an annoyance, but most of the time it's okay. Just depends on how far I have to go. Um, so here we are at CVS. I don't know if you can tell or not, but yep, CVS. We're here. There's the red box. Red box. Look, y'all, they put out the red carpet for me. I know, my ugly cocks. But they're really comfortable for working. Red carpet, yay, chairs here. No, I'm just kidding. Not the red carpet. Okay, this is our newspaper. Let's put those in up. Anyways. Thanks for coming along on my walk to work, and um, tomorrow there will be a grocery haul. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. There will be a grocery haul tomorrow, so you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, today, later on today, I may post um, a library book video. But that, the library video might not be till Saturday. So you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.